Hello and welcome everybody, I'm One Proper Varian and this is Crusader Kings 2 and we are no longer in Saxland, although of course I am still recording from my apartment. <laughs> Got him again, fellas. Anyway, let's jump right in. So today I thought, you know, hey, what am I going to record? There's so many serious suggestions that you guys gave me. There's so much stuff going on just in CK2 as a whole when it comes to mods and new mods and Rise to Power and who hasn't heard of it. But I thought, you know what, after the very uh, difficult and challenging campaign that we have just, you know, left be uh, beyond us, I think we should do something a bit more relaxed. And I'm just going to load right into so that I can end this aggressive music. We are going to play Monarch's Journey because I do want to, you know, get that wonderful princess hat that is right there, only eight points away. And Monarch's Journey is something that, of course, is quite interesting. I haven't done it in ages. I think I've skipped like four Monarch's Journeys, but I keep being asked, hey, could you do the Monarch's Journeys? And I thought, after a very, you know, challenging power gaming uh, campaign, why don't we do just a campaign that is essentially roleplay? And while I know that we have some goals, I feel as though those goals are fairly achievable as the character that we have and, you know, roleplaying as him. And uh, what I know about Duke Pavao of House Shubic, I think that is how I pronounce it, is that he was one of the most influential nobles in all of Hungary. And when the Arpad dynasty passed out, by which I mean that Danju took over, which they probably will he do here as well, I'm not entirely certain of this, but they might, and he was essentially the reasons for House Danju taking over, because he supported them and he was, you know, the one that said, hey, let's just put him on the throne. And that is exactly what I would absolutely love to know. Now, you know, will that actually happen? Probably not. Who knows? But what I do know is that Duke Pavao Shubic has uh, an interesting future ahead of himself. What are the goals of this monarch's journey? We have to hold a couple of titles here. Seriously, I just need four titles. Ba uh, Ban of Croatia, Lord of all of Bosnia and United of Dalmatia, fi uh, finish what Paul never could and conquer Serbia as well. Hold the Kingdom of Serbia and Duchies of Bosnia, Croatia and Hum, or Hum, and completely control all the de jure provinces. Alright, so isn't that just... wait a minute. So that is Bosnia, so these three, and then uh, the Kingdom of Serbia. Alright, yeah, I can do that. So essentially we want to be King of Croatia and Serbia, that is really what we have in mind here, I think. Alright, what's the other goals? The other goals are number of landed dynasty members. We need eight total. Paul appointed his brothers and sons to many positions of power throughout his realm. Continue this tradition and make sure that the dynasty has a strong grasp on the land. Alright, we can do that fairly easily. We can only do this within the lifetime of this character. This one can be done with the entire dynasty and then... Great works. Paul built multiple monasteries, a church, a fort and relations with Venice. Can you leave an even grander legacy behind? We need uh, three grand works. All right, I think we can do that. Right now, we, of course, are merely the Duke of Croatia underneath the Arpa dynasty. We are a tough soldier, club-footed, uh, patient, envious, brave, and cruel, and we are also someone that claims the county of Zara. Now, for that, we have to go to war with Venice. We're not going to do that right away. Quite the opposite, actually. I'm going to go ahead, and we are 33. Unmarried, huh? Ooh, the Holy Roman Empire. You know what? Why don't we marry into the Latin Empire instead? Where the hell even are they? I think they may have already been wiped from the map. I would assume that they were indeed wiped. Let's take a look here. Uh, Budwin? Yeah, the Latin Empire is gone, but I would actually love to, you know, marry someone that lays claim to it. Let's take a look at you. That's her only claim, so there's nothing we can do with her. We could marry into Hungary itself, which would, you know, maybe be fairly nice. Bulgaria, you know what? An alliance with Bulgaria would be adequate. I, I think that is how I would phrase that. We can't marry, and that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Oh, Princess of Bohe Bohemia, absolutely. Maybe we can even, you know, get Bohemia and Austria underneath our Iron Fist. Now, for starters, let's take a look at Mladen Shubic. I heard that, or I read rather on Wikipedia, that Mladen, and I don't even think you pronounce the M, is the M silent? Laden? Is that just how you say it? I heard that when he took over, that was already, you know, the beginning of the decline of the Shubic dynasty. Now, with that being said, what are we? We are a tough soldier. I'm going to teach him about struggle. I'm going to teach him about having to fight for things. You know, usually I would love to go for something else, but I think in this case that's only fair. I'm gonna try to make you a soldier, Ivan. Hopefully not Ivan the Terrible. And then we're going to go ahead. We're not, you know, particularly religious, but I do feel like we should focus on family just because it fits. And, you know, having more children is always nice. Becoming King of Croatia, you know what? That is a goal that would be quite admirable. But, but I think we should go for the war chest because uh, just between you and me, there is a crusade happening. And a crusade happening means, of course, that there's going to be money flooding into our chests. And we already have children anyway, so uh, I don't need to worry. I, I, that, was even, that wasn't even related to what I just said. What I meant was, and this was just my brain working around a corner, uh, we are, you know, are going to be in a betrothal, I think, for like three years, but we already have children. So even if we were to pass away, everything would be fine. Now, with that being said, how are you doing? Can I get rid of you? Apparently not. 
And by the way, I didn't even notice, but we are a tributary state to both Serbia and Hungary, despite also being a vassal of Hungary. What the hell is going on with that? If only I knew. Now, I can't go against you because I don't have a... Ah, you're orthodox. See, if I was orthodox, I could go against him, seeing as he is a, an orthodox heresy. That would be amazing. Oh man, I would absolutely love that. When it comes to the Kingdom of Croatia, right, it is fairly big. I could declare war against you, but honestly, let's just hang out a bit. Because we all know the Crusade is coming, and with the Crusade, there's a lot of money coming our way. At least that is how it usually goes. And there you go. That is the betrothal that I was talking about for about three years. I think we'll be fine. Jihad for Persia. Oh, that is a bad Jihad target. Seeing as, you know, we're going to come probably for Egypt. That is usually what the Crusades go for. And on top of that, good old Khan Abagar, son of Hulegu. If you remember, we have played him numerous times. Uh, I think this Jihad is going to fail. Now, as I said, I will roleplay as much as I can in this series because this series is a bit more lighthearted. I don't have, you know, a very difficult goal in front of my eyes like making all of this of House Wessex, which is exactly what we did in the last series. If you haven't seen it, it was a crazy series, I gotta tell you. But we have no such ambitious target. I merely want to rule as Duke Pavao of House Subic, Subic and I think we're doing, going to do fairly well. I would love to be your advisor, Arpad Lajlo. Now, do I have any interesting plots? Valia. I could revoke the county and I wouldn't be against it. Quite honestly. Ooh. Oh, yes. Please. Now, this will probably not actually work, but wouldn't it be amazing? Me having the claim on Croatia right away. Maybe I... Oh, you know what? Oh, this is going to be so mean. Can't I just... Once the Pope likes me, right? Can't I just go ahead and get a claim on uh, Croatia via the Pope? That's usually how it goes anyway. The faithful prepare for war. I will, of course, go. Egypt will be conquered, and uh, I will not do something cheesy here and take it for myself. Instead, I will name someone. What about my half-brother? What about a more distant relative? Do you have... Oh, well. Do you have any children? No children, no marriage, and also the wrong government type, but I could still do it. You know what? I'm just going to name Stepan. Stepan is a, a very good soldier, a very good commander, and of course, it is a shame losing him. He could uh, definitely use his capabilities. Oh, look at that. You're already a relative of mine. That's that's very fair. But I think I'm going to use him. And what are you doing here? Defending Holy War for Bosnia. Wait a minute. What? Oh, what? Wait, in what world? So you must have a pact with them then. Oh, because you are the suzerain. Of course, I completely forgot about that. But indeed, Bosnia is underneath Hungary. And that is quite the war we already have here at our hands. I think Hungary might lose this one. We'll have to see about it. Ego approaches me as I'm on my way out to tell me how happy he was to hear I pledged my men to the crusade and wish me luck in the upcoming war. Thanks, I do appreciate it. Now, I will tell you, I do not want, you know, my wonderful beneficiary to be the actual heir to the kingdom of Egypt. I would just want it to be a duke, maybe, maybe just a count, and then, of course, some money for myself. So don't even think that I will overinvest into this. Oh, the Mongols already have facing a revolt here. It is no guy, also actually a Mongol of House Borjigin, or Borjigin, which is probably not how I pronounce it. What's going on here? He's trying to push Monka for the Golden Horde. Who the hell? Wait, no, sorry, I must have misread that. Uh, it's just the independence. Why? See, oh wow, if they win that, that might quite, that might be significant actually. Yeah, and look at Serbia actually destroying Bosnia. Oh god, we are going to see a powerful Serbia, it seems. Which shouldn't be that surprising, seeing as Serbia held on for quite some time back in the day when it comes to, you know, the medieval times. They've had a troubled history, to say the least there. What do you want? Tax shifted burger obligations. See, I'm not against that. I'm okay with that. I want more taxes, absolutely. You would like you to back up plot? No, I want the... Listen, listen. Duke Blagai Babonjak II. I want that. I'm the one that should be the king of Croatia, not you, my friend. Definitely not you. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to extort my subjects. The money for that war chest is not going to raise itself. You have decided to take matters into your own hands and see that the chests get filled to the brim with donations from your loyal subjects. How should you proceed? Um, I think the peasants can pay an extra tax. Absolutely. The peasants of Sahlumia did, as expected, not appreciate the extra tax we forced upon them. The peasants even elected a leader amongst them who started asking questions why this tax was necessary and exclaimed that they would now have to starve. Perhaps something should be done before they get the pitchforks? Absolutely not. Who cares? Tax is obviously necessary. The peasants are just greedy. And being greedy, as we all know, will not bring you into heaven. Hello, Pope Nicholas. Nope. Hello, Pope Urbanus V. It's 
time for the crusade, my friend. Uh, once we're like at maybe 150 days, I think we're going to raise our levies and then we're going to go down there and get as much war score as we can. Look at this donation chest. The fall of Cairo, excuse me. Oh, wow. Okay, that is that is amazing. That is actually too funny. So, the Caliph, at this point, because the Mongols came into Baghdad, fled over to Cairo, historically speaking, Caliph Al-Hakim. And then Cal uh, Caliph Al-Hakim, of course, calls the wonderful uh, Jihad for Persia, and now the Mongols, technically speaking, have indeed sieged down Cairo. But they are not at war with actual Cairo. So with, you know, Sultan Al-Sayyid Baraka. This is just uh, one of the many wars going on. Anyway, riding through the fertile Nile, uh, Nile Delta, the Tartar hordes have arrived at the Great Pyramids of Giza and breached the gates of Cairo. Surely, even the cruelest pharaoh would, uh, would be given pause by the pain and misery now inflicted on the city's hapless population. Well, well, well. A lot going on here, of course. That is, you know, just how it goes with these late start dates. I wish there were start dates that were, you know, with these borders, but not with this technology. This technology makes it so that everything is maxed up to the extreme, and I think you can see that the best here with the wonderful companies. What is going on over here? Right, it's nothing really, it's just the war for Udin. Udine? I don't actually know how you pronounce that. After the council meeting, Stu uh, Stuart Svonomir asked me to exchange a few words in private. Apparently he has uncovered a rumor concerning a rare artifact. Svonimir believed there was some truth to the rumor and urged me to have a search arranged. You know what? Absolutely. You should arrange it. Alright, let's take a look at the crusade. The crusade is running out its clock and that is fine. Who is participating here? Where's the emperor? Oh, there is the emperor. Actually, he made it in. We got Aragon here. And he's from China. You know what? I don't really care for that. What I care for is becoming the king of Croatia. What's the problem? Make me the lord of everything down here. And actually, we can take it. I think we can let it tick down even further. What is this? What do you want? And the hitbox of this interface is horrible. I will not owe you a favor. Get out of here. You're losing. Oh no, you're winning your war against Serbia, it seems. But Serbia just took a province which uh, spells the opposite. At least to me. Now, I'm going to raise every single levy that I have. And then we're going to take the boats, which are enough. We only have 3k troops. Look, it's not the most. It's not the least. We can be fine. I think we're going to make, you know, a decent contribution to the crusade. And that's all we need to do. That's all I'm here for. I don't think, you know, he, do he doesn't understand that he gets the title if he participates the most. That's not really how the crusades worked, per se of the distance and the autonomy of the actual crusaders but we are going to go down there and we are going to go down there ourselves even though we are not a good commander and Mladen who will be the one wait a minute did I determine Mladen no I didn't Stepan oh Stepan you're not even at my court can I invite you you know what I think Mladen I think he should do it yeah I'm gonna marry you I'm going to marry you to, uh, to the princess of Bulgaria, and then I'm going to name you the beneficiary. My dear half-brother. There you go. I could even, and you know what, this is actually quite interesting. Couldn't I? Theoretically, right? Is that a Catholic? They are Christian. Couldn't I literally just create a crusader state? Right here. Like, like these. Antioch. I could revive Antioch. Oh, that would be cute. I feel like that would be kind of cute. Show me Antioch. Just these, uh, these three provinces. I think we can do that. I mean, we have to get lucky with the fights, of course, but that would be lovely. I'm going to land in Egypt, and that is a bit of power gaming, but I'm going to land in Egypt, and then we're going to make our way to Antioch. How are we doing here? 48 days. Yeah, that's all good and dandy. Let's become Crusaders. Let's become Crusaders, indeed. What do you want? No, I will not owe you a favor. Stop asking for it. Good God. All right, time to land. Deus Volt, indeed. In a grand announcement, the Pope declares another crusade for Egypt. It was once a part of the core Christian lands, and lords from all across the world gather to fight for it in a grand war once more. The Bunduk Darid lands has long been under the tyrannic rule of the Mohammedan infidel Sultan al Sayyid Baraka of the Bunduk Alej Sultanate. But with the upcoming Christian onslaught, it is only a matter of time before he falls. God will grant remission of sin to everyone partaking in the righteous war. Right, of course he will. I finally stand before the destination of the crusade. With sword in hand, I'm ready to storm the walls of at Dakalia. And I'm a crusader. There you go. We've done it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have indeed done it. And I would love to be a flat terrain expert. Absolutely. 
We have won a decent battle here as well. Even a prisoner. Now, of course, 4.3k isn't that much in terms of, you know, war score or rather contribution, but I think we'll be fine. I want to try creating... I don't even think I can do it. I probably don't have enough piety, right? I don't know. I want to try, though. I really do. Hello there. I would like to seek Antioch. Uh, Siege Antioch, I mean. I want to land right... Seriously? Well... Wouldn't we be winning? Yeah, there you go. The devil must have cast a curse on me in my venture to recover the lost artifact, for I was just brought the most dreadful news. Stuart, Sv uh, Stuart Svonimir died in an unexplainable accident while searching for the artifact. Huh. From an accidental fall. Right, we need another one, another... Oh, Mladen, that is a bit of a shame that you're here now, but you know what? I'm gonna send you to search for the artifact. There you go. Let's see Jantyok. I wanna see how this goes. I don't... I don't remember the actual requirements to create, um... Oh, look at that, Jesus. To create a Crusader duchy, but I do want to try. I, I will tell you, I think that is important to me. The hunt for the ruined artifact has begun to slow down. Marshal Duya uh, Dujma has uh, just informed me. He has some valuable and promising leads, but to investigate them, the search must venture into distant, inhospitable lands. Dujma claims he needs more soldiers to attempt such a venture. Hmm... Sure. Do what you must, buddy. Do what you must. As I siege down Antioch. As I pass through Antioch, I come across King Pear III of Aragon. He invites me to spend some time in his camp to get to know one another better as we are allies in the crusade for Egypt. I could become zealous, which be which would be kind of cool here. Or I could become friends with Aragon. Mm, you know what? Nah, let's become zealous. Let's get some extra piety. Oh no, I'm out of here, boys. I'm sorry to tell you, I really would like to siege Antioch, but <laughs> that's not an option. That is in no way, shape, or form an option. They were coming for us. They were indeed coming for us. And I can- I guard him here, and I think we will win this battle as well, but... Good God, um, could I make you- oh, you're already a Crusader. We're all Crusaders in this- oh, okay. That was a huge mistake, but look at the war score. I might actually make him king just because I stare- Just because I walked into this doom stack. Alright, the boys need to be over there. See, it is always a pain to lose levy like this, but in a crusade, it is the one and only thing that actually, you know, makes for good war score. And honestly, we probably won't be the top contributor here, but we probably just secured a high level of a, a title at the very least. And look at that. Mladen already got a kid with the Prince of Bulgaria. That is lovely. We only have 900 people now. Yeah, that is the dream of a crusader duchy. It is a failed dream indeed. Oh, look at you, Ivan. Amazing. Wow, what happened to your hairline? Ivan! Where's your hairline? Not like this. Um, I will marry you. Oh, the Princess of Jerusalem would be kind of nice. Princess of Armenia? No. Absolutely not. Hmm. There's many marriages. I refuse to do a marriage with the Holy Roman Empire. It is nonsense. I do not approve of this. Um, I do, however, approve of her. She's a good character, although she is a bastard, so I'm not that interested, all things considered. You know what? Why don't we marry you to the Princess of Bohemia? Another Princess of Bohemia, of course. We're already married to one. Alright, and I guess we'll just... Uh, I give up on the dream for Antioch. We can do that in one of the later Crusades, I would say. A Crusader Duchy, that is. Hello, Kanuta. Kunhuta, sorry. I'm gonna take the prestige and get married. Wonderful. My lovely wife. Now, let's get attached to an army and just siege down the capital of the Sultanate. Mercia actually leading here, or Warwick these days. What it is called, Pisa is leading. Yeah, I don't think that is a good thing. Oh, Sicily, meaning House Danjou would take over. Because House Danjou is currently holding, of course, the Kingdom of Sicily. That would be lovely. I would support that. I would... Oh... Is he actually going for Rome? Are you kidding me? You gotta be pulling my leg, right? The inability of our previous employer to provide our contractual pay has caused us to look for employment elsewhere. It would serve your grace if you would have us... Are you kidding me? How would you do that? I'm not interested in... You know what? I just revived the dream of Antio... Oh, maybe not. Man, there's a lot of armies running around, I have to tell you. Um, we're just gonna stay in Egypt, I guess, and I guess I am now in lead- Oh, well, hello there. In the chaos surrounding the Battle of Baalbek, my min-cornered High Chief Kutlu Khan Muzaffar Adin of the Kutlu Khan High Chiefdom was cut down with ease. The symbols of high rank on his uniform apparently went unnoticed until the soldier stumbled over his corpse. 
Interesting. I did not realize that. Damn, dude. That is a very prestigious line. And he's gone now. Too bad for him, huh? Too bad for him, indeed. Now, either way, we are losing a lot of people here, but none of those are ours. And look at the war score. Look at the contribution going up. And why? Well, just because a mercenary company was like, eh, might as well serve him, right? Damn. Yeah, I, don't, I think Pomerelli is going to overtake us, but that is crazy. When I joined the crusade for Egypt, I never expected the loneliness and longing for home. I men look up to me, so I have to continue the facade that everything is alright as we move ever closer to our goal. Damn. That is rough. I don't know exactly what's going on in his head, but it appears to be very difficult. I have to keep going, I suppose. I did not become uh, stressed, which is nice. Which one did I need to do? This one is the only one that I need to do in this lifetime. Yes. I need to land more people. That's really what it comes down to. And I think I can do that already. We have so many uh, brothers here. And you know what? Laden, you're serving as well, of course. But you're the only crusader here. No, we... Oh. Oh, no. They actually imprisoned him. I think I'm going to give it to him, Laden. Because he will count, of course, as landed. Which is lovely. We will be able to... Uh, get this done, I trust. We're also actually able to take the capital... Although we do not see any of that in our own contribution here. Because we are not the ones sieging it. But we are just good Christians. Listen, I'm not sieging this for, you know, my own gain. I'm sieging this for the gain of Christianity. The Nile Delta will fall. And you know what? Let's get Alexandria. I will take it. I will take it all. And I will assault this with through... Oh, it's... Oh, <laughs> he actually became king. You must be kidding me. The Sword of God of Egypt. King of Laden, the Sword of God of Egypt. Ye this is ridiculous. This is utterly ridiculous. I, I did not intend for him to become king, but here we are. Our dynasty's already taking over. Shubich leading the way down there in Egypt. God has granted Duke Papa of Croatia victory in the Crusade for Egypt. Emir al Said Baraka of the Bunduk Darid Emirate has been beaten at every turn through the war, and he has finally had to give up on his holdings in Egypt. Duke Papa has granted the new lands of Egypt to Mladen Shubic. The Pope has made an announcement about the victory and virtues of the Crusaders as true faithful protectors of the faith. With the Muslims being pushed out of their old lands, there are certainly more conflicts to come. Praise God. Well. I will let you know that I did not intend for this, but I will now forge a bloodline. How could I not forge a bloodline? Right? How could I How could I say, eh, I'm good. I wish I could get a claim on good old uh, Croatia, but I don't think they give away kingdom level claims. Yeah, indeed they don't. I would have to find some more friends here, and it does not... Ooh, look at you. I'd right, actually... It might be a way in here. We have to see the Crusader King. I will not play as you. I, I you know, it would be cool, but I think you'll be fine. 25,000. Yeah, this is just ridiculous. And I like it. I like every second of it. I, I'll be honest with you. This was not intentional, but I'll take it. I will without a doubt take it. Now you join this plot. I still can't do it. We are so close. We need 75% if I'm not mistaken. Just give me one moment here. I just need to figure out if we, if the game, sometimes the game does not show that you actually can turn it around, but not in this case. It doesn't Strike me as uh, quite as possible. No, it's, there's some people here very close to actually, you know, being available, but I don't think any of these are. Do I have an artifact? Oh, right, we do have artifacts now, of course. Um, I think I might actually be able to turn someone here. Show me the one with the most influence and the most leeway. Look at you, Vilmos. I'm going to give you a small gift, and then we're going to... Take a look again. Yeah, it will not be enough. You know what? I'm not even gonna, gonna give you an artifact. That's okay. I will get my claim eventually. Believe you me. And with the money that we now hold... Pavao. Good name. Good name indeed. With the money that we now hold, this should be, I mean, easy money. Literally. Quite literally indeed. Now everyone come home. The crusade was a success. Our brother in charge of all of the land over there now. I'm gonna just... You know what? I'm just going to keep the mercs around. Why wouldn't I, right? I, I have the money to keep those mercs around. Now, you could say, hey, why don't you build tall? Well, the answer is, why would I? Hello there. I would like to claim Zara. You seem to be mistaken about the fact that I deserve to hold Zara. Serene Doge, Oberta, Venice. Jure claim on Croatia. Oh, that means I would get the city and Zara. Yo, I would be a huge fan of this. And I'm known as the Lionheart, by the way. I didn't even realize this. Yeah, I will definitely do this. 
That, that is even better than the claim on Zara. So, let's go along with this one. And you know what? Oh, really? Wait a minute. What? Did I miss this? Oh, Serbia is right. In a very strange way, Hungary and Serbia are both my suzerains. And I shall call in Serbia. Hello, Serbia. Why don't you aid me? But also, why don't I simply hire a couple more people? The great company. Now, that is a grand name indeed. Thank you for joining me. I am now a flanker. I love that we actually have become a fairly decent commander. Look at that. No longer are we the worst of the worst. Take him down here. This is just... This is going to be a very quick war. See, these, this is the problem with late start dates. And I will not make you the king of Croatia. Don't even ask anymore. This is the problem with late start dates. They always make it so that everything is extreme. You can conquer things quickly. You can lose things quickly, of course. But there is no, you know, hey... What about some very basic, just classic wars? It just does not happen. And, I mean, there is something good to be said about that, I suppose. But, I mean, look at this. 14,000 troops, which I pulled entirely out of my bot uh, buttocks. Yeah, get rid of these troops here. Get them out of here. This is my land. The historical uh, Duke Pavao, by the way, or Ban Pavao, I should say, Pavao. Uh, he made peace. Uh, this kind of sucks. I will educate you in martial, even though you're bad at it, because, well, I am someone that, you know, values martial, and I will educate you in family. Well, I guess in uh, struggle. It's the most, I suppose. Um, there's no in-between here, and while the historical Duke ba uh, Pavao, as I said, or as I was saying, uh, made peace with Venice, I can only make peace with Venice once I hold everything that I need. In this case, all of this land over here. Does, of course, not yet do it. Now, I will go ahead, uh, because we just conquered some stuff here. I think I'll go ahead and land some of my fellas here. Hello, brother! How are you doing? I will make you the Lord of Imotsky. There you go. Have a good time with it. I hope you will indeed enjoy your reign over Imotsky. And then we're going to hand out Zahlumia. Sure. Why not? To our other brother, Ivan the Unlucky. What a name. What a name! Yeah, sure. There you go. Beautiful. All right, look at that. Congratulations, bronze in the established challenge. Now, how are we doing in terms of uh, sisters? Who the hell are you? Right, Sadar. You need to marry someone. What about the prince of the Byzantine Empire? No. Get him out here. Oh, the prince of Sicily, please. Hell yeah. It could even mean, theoretically, he's horrible as a spy master. But you know what? Who's going to hurt me? I mean, I'm beloved by all. But the way I see it, we may be walking in a situation here where I can easily claim all of Sicily, right? Let me take a look at this man. I didn't even look at it beforehand, but... Oh, she's cheating on me, isn't she? Let me take a look at whether or not he has a claim. He has a strong claim on Sicily! Now, if you weren't fully aware... And uh, let me actually take a look here. There you go. Friedrich and Heinrich. And Friedrich. All of those three. Held on. No, actually, he didn't. Just he. Kaiser Heinrich IV, uh, the sixth. Held on to wonderful Sicily, and then Hohenstaufen lost it, and now we are matrilineally married to one of them. I have thought it over, and I cannot be the father of my wife, Kunhuta's baby. As it grows in her belly, I have trouble sleeping. I must put this matter to rest. Hire someone to find out. You know what? Sure, let's hire someone. I am a bit cruel. Maybe, you know, I'm not treating my wife right, but hey, who's to say? God damn it, none of these fellas are willing. I think we're gonna go against Sicily, and I, you know, say this... Which is very strange to say, because Sicily and, of course, House Danjou is were, who would take over Hungary after House Harpat di uh, Harpat died out, which probably won't happen here. But I think we're going to push for Sicily and put a hoe in Staufen and then, of course, a wonderful Shubic on the throne. Can't believe we won Egypt. That is just utterly ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. King of Lard, what's he doing? Attacking for Ascalon. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Oh, wow, we splintered them. They are done. But you know what? Good old Sicily and everything that com uh, comes thereafter. That is a story for tomorrow, a story for the next episode. So I want to thank everyone for watching this episode. And I want to thank the members of the channel, namely the Barons Aaron, Stefan, the Ritterstein, and Snywolf, then the Counts, Emma Mamello, I'm Deadpool, and Suspicious Duck, as well as Kim Alec 2. And last but not least, of course, the Dukes, Nathan, Hermann, Knight of Squires, Kenneth, Lexo, Benedict, Roboman, my dad left me at Arby's, and the absolute legend Eric. Thank you so much for being members of the channel. You're making what I'm doing here possible. Thank you so much for that. If you also want to support the channel, then check out the join button right underneath the video. There is a membership tier and uh, perk explanation right in there. And I will see you then. Later. Alligator.